Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you um, this little cute dress here um, made out of a water bottle. This one is purple on the bottom and it's painted purple and this one is white and they're a little bit different. They're not too different. And these are great for putting your little candies. This one has a thank you card here. And uh, I hole punched it and then just put a little bit of ribbon there. And then you could put your little bag, a little bag of mints or something in there. Or little M&Ms or whatever you want. Um, and so this is how this looks. Can you guys see that? They're really cute. Just a little bit different with this one. The lace, I chose to do it... Uh, like the little sleeve the strap with the lace and then I put a little bit of lace there and uh, this one just has a regular ribbon um they both look really cute um, I like the purple one better but let me show you how I did it uh, you want to start off with a bottle of water that's been washed and the label has been removed to the best of your ability that one still has a little bit on that um, and then you want to go ahead and grab your scissors or a knife or I'm using, um, what is this called, uh, razor blade, sorry about that. And so I'm just going to kind of measure out how big I want, how tall I want my little dress to be. And I'm going to use two... I'm going to go up to the second little rim there and just start cutting. While I'm cutting this, I already have my hot glue gun on. That way it's nice and hot. Don't throw away... Um, don't throw your bottles of water away, whatever you have left over. Don't throw it away. Keep it because you can make bracelets and other little things for that. With that, I'm sorry. Okay, and so we got a little um, dress here type. You make sure you want to make sure you keep the the cap. And so you want to go ahead and paint it. Um, what I used to paint it was just regular acrylic paint. I chose purple and then white for the lid. I did paint the lid white because it's kind of clear and uh, I wanted it to be white. So I just went ahead and painted that. And by the way, I got this idea from another YouTuber. Uh, I'll, have her, I'll have her name and her info in the bottom. She does have a YouTube um, channel. So here's my little bottle of water painted, and now I'm going to grab my lace, I'm going to measure my lace, start at the bottom, and cut it out. And so I've already pre-done all the cutting, that way um, I save time on that. For the little straps, I just grabbed a little piece of lace here, where's my piece of lace, right here. And I'm using floral wire. I oh, know this is a uh, beading wire. But you can use floral wire. Whatever wire you have hanging around, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna grab my little wire here, put some hot glue gun right on the wire. And then just place that right on the right on this little uh, lace here. Let that cool off for just a second, and I have a little bit of a uh, wire here that I left not glued, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. And then just let that cool down just a second. And then just cut it out. So I'm going to carefully, or try to be careful here. And cut it out. You guys can just skip this part. I mean, you know. 
You guys don't need to see me cut this. Just fast forward or whatever. And so there you have your little strap. Um, and set that aside. And here's my little cup here. And also, with whatever little scrap piece of lace that you have lying around, just go ahead and cut a V. This is optional. You don't need to do this. Just cut a quick little V like this. And I have one right here. And set that aside. We're going to go ahead and get started on gluing our little straps. So just kind of see how you want to put them. And go ahead and grab your hot glue. Put a little dot here. And glue that down. And then glue the other little part down. About there. And then the other little strap. Oh, this hot glue. I finally got rid of my old glue gun. Uh, and I got this new little one. Which I like way better because it doesn't get as hot as the other one and it doesn't burn my fingers. It's still hot, but it's just not as hot as the other one was like almost burning the the glue. It was weird. It was getting way too hot, but I have had that I had had that one for years. Probably something like fifteen years I'm gonna say. That glue gun. Old, old glue gun. Okay, and then you just wanna fix your straps. And there you go. Okay, now that you're there, you want to go ahead and place this little piece of, um, this little triangle of, um, lace there. So I'm just going to put a little tiny amount of hot glue. Let's see. There we go. If you need to use tweezers or whatever you need to use for this, that's fine. Go for it. Like. Oh no. There we go. And so just leave that there. And then you're going to need a little ribbon. This one happens to have a wire on the edge, which I like. And I want my ribbon to look kind of like squished up like this so it can look like, um, like the front of a dress. And so I'm just going to put a dot there. I'm going to try to squish this up and put it right there. This is going to be a long video, guys, so if you guys want to skip through some of it, I would. <laughs> um, and so you see that there's a little lace sticking out there. And then you just want to glue it at the back. I need something to help me so I don't burn my fingers. And then you want to glue this down. There we go. I always get my scissors stuck on here and I'm going to ruin this. Damn it. Cut that off. This always happens to me because I have to use the scissors. It's okay, it still works. Just 
glue that down, get rid of all this extra little glue string here. Okay, and then do the other side. I make this look hard, but it's not hard at all. It's just... I'm all over the place sometimes. So there we go, just glue that down. And I actually am a little short on, on, on ribbon here, but that's alright, don't worry about it. If that does happen to you, you can just put another little ribbon there. You can put a little bow or whatever you want on there. There we go. Get rid of all this little ribbon here. Don't worry about the back, guys. You can cover that up. What you really want to work on is the front and just make sure you have kind of like, it looks like a dress a little bit here. So I like this ribbon because it has that wire and you can really fix it there. There we go. And now we're going to start on our lace here, which I have already pre-cut. And you want to go ahead and leave some space so that the dress covers up the bottom. Okay? So you're going to add the glue to your lace. Small amount that you can. Blow on it a little bit so it doesn't burn your plastic bottle. It will burn the plastic bottle. So you got to let it cool down just a little bit. And then just go around. And then just keep going. And there you go, your first layer of your little dress, and then continue on going with your second layer. About right there, looks right. If you hear a little popping or sizzling noise, that means you're not drying your glue enough. And it will make a hole in your your little dress if you don't let it dry. You don't want that. There we go. And then continue on to the other side. Try to get rid of these little um, glue strings as you go because you don't want them to go everywhere. There we go. That's our second layer, and then for a third layer, I've already pre-cut these guys, but uh, you guys will probably um, want to cut as you go, at least for the first one, and then after that, you'll get the hang of it. So this is really easy, guys. Uh, depending the the ribbon that I chose for the top was really difficult to work. It was kind of like a thready, really weird fabric, and it's really old. I've had it for a long time. I'm sure whatever late, uh, whatever ribbon you choose to use for your top won't be as difficult as mine. I just wanted to use up that ribbon because I've had it for such a long time and I never used it. And so I got a little extra here. I'll just cut that. And 
and then just glue that little bit down. There we go. And you start to see your little dress come together and then now we're going to do our last layer. And the last layer you want to put it right up to the top of the dress like this. There you go. And you want it to cover that top part of the dress just a little bit. So we're going to go like this. And then the other side, and I have a feeling this is going to be too much, so since I pre-cut these, it's a little bit too big. And then just go. And there you have your little dress. And then to cover that up, we can go ahead and put a little piece of lace right there. Let me just cut it. And so yeah guys, this wasn't my original idea. Um, I got this from another YouTuber and I'll have her info on in the bottom. And you can see how she made hers. Um, pretty similar, pretty much the same thing, just a little tiny bit different. Um, it's still cute, it's still, still works out. And then I'm just going to put another little piece of glue right there. What's up, Torpedo? And so there you go, and that covers up the back of the dress. And this is the front with a little lace sticking up. And so you can leave it like this if you want. Um, but I want to add a little heart in the center here. So I'm just going to add a little tiny dot there. And I put this heart right there. Almost like a little belt or something. And so then you can leave it like that. Or you could add this little stuff here. Go around and then cut that off. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but you know this stuff takes a while for me to do since I'm trying to explain and do stuff at the same time. I always end up messing up. And so if you have any extra string like this, just cut it off. No big deal. Little tiny dot there. Fix it. Another little tiny dot there. For these, it's a good idea to do it in dots, not to do a whole line of glue for this little type of beads. Um, and the reason is that the glue, it doesn't need it. It'll stay put. And hopefully I went all the way around with this. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be missing one little thing. Um... It really just needs one little glue. If not, it'll you will be able to see the glue and it's not going to look nice. Hold on, Torpedo. Torpedo's crying because he wants to go outside. I'm going, I'm going, Torpedo. I'm going as fast as I can. And what did I do with those little beads that I took off? I know I did something with them. Okay, well you guys get the idea. I don't know what I did with those. I cut some little beads off because it was too much. Now I don't know what I do with it. I'm just going to have to put that on there. And so there you guys go. Just kind of fix it down. There's your little dress. Hopefully I was in frame. And didn't do this out of frame. That's pretty much it guys. 
can lift this up a little bit more if you want. It's a little dress. Thanks for watching, guys. Um...